Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to Ayala Malls. Yeah, it looks epic, but don't worry, we got lost right in the beginning. Let's show you that bit first. Make the notification below. Huh? <laughs> awesome, awesome. O six eight. I don't know what that one was. H twelve. Oh, this looks like the Ayala Ayala Center. You don't want to take a bus here unless you really know what you do. Really. Sixty days until Christmas. Please not a pit. Massive Nespresso shop. And even more massive mango. Really haven't found any food yet. I know it's only a few steps in, but there's normally food by now. Well, you're coming through the entrance, and that's when you see the signs. There's no like map or anything. You just got to look for these signs. So food choices are either further ahead or up. Well, that's the entrance behind me. Yeah, it feels like a bit like a maze. It does, a round maze. Even. Yeah, you can see it better from here. It's it's like rounded, so you can't really see too far. And then there's more stuff around there. But but. It's a labyrinth. It's a labyrinth. It's a labyrinth. I think it might actually be a maze. Ah, it opens up a bit. I think you have to go higher and higher to get a more open view of it. But it's a little bit closed up down below, and then as you come up, it just opens up and becomes huge. Okay, let's just quickly show you what we're dealing with here. Right, so if we zoom in, this is the Ayala. So it's, yeah, like this. We're still scouting on the edges. I don't even know if there's anything in between here. But we don't know how to get there. We're in that little loop We're at the stuck. bottom there, yeah. <laughs> we'll find it. Alright, keep going up then. It says we have to go up again. Let's go, let's just go right to the top. Right to the top. We'll find some food, hang in there guys. Okay, we're coming up and I can feel a bit of heat. I think we might be going outside. Oh, it looks like all the food is outside. Now have a look, that's outside. There's an actual garden there. But all the way, you gotta go all the way to the top. And then there's, yeah, there's a garden outside. Ah, ah. Entrance, let's go in. Oh, that was unexpected. I didn't expect <laughs> that at all. But it, it's actually pretty cool out here. <laughs> I, in a hot way. Uh -huh. ah, ah, ah. Looking from space, I think that might be the round thing that we saw in the middle of the building. So I think maybe that's the middle. We're heading that way once we found something to eat. Okay, and for those interested, the toilets are up here, so you can get the toilets right here. Let's go get food. Oh, there's some Chinese food. Majestic, looks quite big. Oh, New York style pizza. Let's go see what the price of their pizza is. Oh, this caught my eye. I think it's buttered chicken, they say, but it looks crispy. Oh, and what is that? Whoa. Standing outside. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think what are those price cups? They're like $700 for a pizza. <laughs> wow. That must be a massive pizza. You can get a slice for like $150. They also have burgers and things. This is actually cool, uh, pretty cool. They've, they've got this like outside the area where you can sit and actually look at the, the view. Aha, uh -huh, sit out here and check out the view. Yeah. It's pretty trendy. <laughs> it's also a Starbucks. I think some more places are still coming. <laughs> Not quite sure how to say that. I, I'm going to say brick. Yeah, maybe it's French bouquet. <laughs> but there'd be a ton more letters. But it's a healthy place, and it seems like a lot of people are coming here. Almost as many as at the pizza place. <laughs> Just a bit of functional stuff. They actually have water-cooled condensers for the air conditioning. That's pretty cool. Very cool. That's power plant stuff. <laughs> Best ramen. They do ramens here. Well, apparently I deserve a better lunch. <laughs> Beef pepper rice. I say it's a really, really, really big place. You have to walk around. You probably want to look at that, the, all the restaurants that are here and decide where you want to eat first. Otherwise, you probably die of starvation. 
It looks like they have a Burger King in here as well. well. I think we're entering another part of the food court. Man, we did about half of the outside that's out there. But there's a whole inside area and it is massive. I'm just going to swing you guys around. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. We'll walk around and show you. But how cool is that? It's like, like the middle with all the things around it. And I assume it's got layers. Have a look. Layers around. Awesome. Now I think we found them all. Now I'm more excited. Just got better. I think we need to go find Brian some food. He's talking about onion layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a Mr. Chalmay, but Rick has eaten so many of those. Let's go try something new. But it looks like there's loads of stuff in this area. Loads of different outlets. Yeah, this feels like the street's been brought in. We got Master Chalmay. But check this out. I don't know how to say that, you guys can tell me. But check this out, what you can get here. Mm. All of this yummy food. Hello, we have a lot of It looks so good here. Oh, wow. Well, the food looks great, but there's absolutely hello, no prices. Hello, hello. So I have no idea how much it costs, and we can't do that. Here's another one of those places, and uh, slightly different foods. More fish based, I think. Oh, oh. I need some chicken and stuff as well. Oh, that's a big claim. Tastier than lechon. Oh, man. Oh, and he's really chopping up something back there. Oh, this looks good. Oh, what is this? Oh wow, it looks so pretty, it's awesome, thank you so much. And these are the prices here. Oh wow, Brian found some shrimp. Let's have a look at these, we actually got prices on this one. Oh great. What are these called? Noyong. Noyong pork and vegetables inside. Noyong pork and vegetables inside. We de we're definitely going to get one of those to start, yeah. We're just going to start with one of these, just to see that what that's for, then we can actually choose some proper food. These awesome, awesome puddings that they have, look, they have flan, awesome. So this is bird's nest soup. How much is that for one serving? One five. Five. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. And this one was? The lomi noodles. Okay. Looks delicious. And the other one was for the chicken. But everything looks so good. Oh, here it is. Oh, and it gets cut up as well. Awesome. And sauce. And sauce. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Let, let's start with that and then come back. Tables. Sebo speciality. What does it look like inside? Oh, it got veg and things. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. It, it feels quite light. But anyway, the proof's on the eating. What's it's, the sauce? I think it's a sweet and sour. Not chili. It's chili oil. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Wow, it's light. Super, super light batter. But they're like little gooey, gooey notes in between. It's really nice, and the filling, these are great. I'd say this is a spring roll, what I know is a spring roll. Here we go. Look at all this awesome stuff. And they actually have prices at the back here. So you can choose your lechon kway, which I sort of want. But look at all of this stuff that you've got here. Okay. 
I think that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Or oh, can you say that? Thank you so much. Awesome. Awesome. Gym for the day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh man, I got a plate of fantasticnesses. Hopefully, we have no idea. Goat what and okay, we know pork what that is. and. But how can you not start with the most interesting? Yeah, she said she put vinegar in it already. Yeah, yeah. If you have a look, you can see the vinegar oh, over there. Wow. Dip it, feels, it in. That really feels like it needs beer. And it, 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 it's like. I don't know. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, and they pop. <laughs> it tastes like snap peas, then it hits you with the sea, and then it explodes in your mouth with little pop holes. <laughs> it's awesome. Mmm. Oh. New favorite. <laughs> wonder what this is. I think it's a green tomato. Green tomato? Oh wow. This is the most awesome stuff ever. Everyone should eat this. Or at least try it. Mm. Here we are, Rick. <laughs> Give it a go. I'm not sure. Well, Ricky has a different opinion. To me... I'm not I wasn't sure, but I wasn't expecting because you were going on about sweet peas and whatever. It snap means, peas, <laughs> it cracks like snap no, peas. It tastes like the sea smells, like like Durban. 
Oh, it is! They're really beautiful, I must say. Oh. It's goat! Actual goat! Now I'm gonna look at those goats a bit differently that are near our house. Uh huh. Well, there's some nice looking pieces there. There's a lot of bone. But yeah, yeah, I know, but that's goat. Put it out there. Oh, and some gravy. I think what we're first going to try is a bit of rice. Oh, nice rice. And a bit of the gravy. And a bit of the gravy just to see where, where we are with flavour. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Is it weirdly flavoured or is it just as you expect? It's absolutely beautiful. Wow. It's like a rich, unctuous stew, little hints of spice and curry, a lot of tomato. Really, really, really nice. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Just it. Good, soft, mm. juicy, full flavoured. That's my new favourite thing. <laughs> really? Mm. Oh, That's awesome. amazing. Stuff is really really nice. It's not like anything you've tasted, it's like a little bit sweet, a little bit a lot tomatoey, uh, a little bit sour even, but you can't say, oh they taste like a beef stew or Ricky can't figure it out, so what she's done is giving it to me because I'm the expert at food. <laughs> at guessing what the stuff is. Sure, uh-huh. Let's get a bit of rice here. Bit of the extra gravy because we are we are on a scientific research project to discover what's in it. It's so simple. It's full of very yummy yumminess. <laughs> very yummy yumminess. There you go. <laughs> You're looking for the recipe? Very yummy yummy. Put some yummy and put some more yummy. <laughs> very, very yummy. <laughs> Man, it's awesome. It's really good. It is really good. No, I actually, no jo all jokes aside, this stuff is... I'm going to write down the name of that. It was like Kildaretta yeah. something. Absolutely meat. delicious. Oh, the meat is... It's not too soft. No, it's, it's meat. <laughs> but it's got that gluey. Oh man. Oh yeah. Still, still, still. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. That is really, really good. Well, before we get to devouring it all, we still got the pork chop. Now, we probably should have done that before the goat because the goat is so good. It's sort of. You know, ruined everything else. But we'll see. They've cut it so that you can just pull a piece off. Oh wow. Oh, and it's really sticky. Well, I can smell it actually. Oh, barbecue. Oh, man. Oh, flame grilled. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just like you get on the streets. What's not to love about a pork chop? <laughs> Ricky has a confession. I think once you get over the initial shock, it's not actually too bad. You just have to remember it comes from the sea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Hang on, hang on. Make up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Rick. But I was, I was about to say, their stuff is awesome. I'll, I'll go there and thank them, but I'm so full. <laughs> wow. Let's go see the rest of this mall. We're on the top level now, as you know, from our massive escalator upwardsy thing and walk across the building. But it looks like on the second floor there's also foods. So more than one layer of foods? Wow. Also the cinema is up here. And and I suppose if you want to do some be a rock star, or if you want to be Taylor Swift. Oh, on the other side, there's some more places. Oh, this is the ticket office. They the actual movies and things. Yeah. Oh, and there's more down that way. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just this roundy bit, but there's actually more. Movies and snack bar. Let's see how much popcorn is these days. Oh man, look at that popcorn. Oh, they do hot dogs as well. 
You see, there is more. It like heads off in that direction, like almost infinitely. Yeah. Wow. H and M's at the end there, and you know H and M's are big, so it must travel like another fifty yeah, kilometers. What? What? Where? Where? Okay. This deal or no deal? This is like gambling. You get to pick. Slap one jackpot prize. Two hundred tickets. Oh, because you're paying for tickets. It's not gambling. Oh, and look. There's the KFC and the Chow King. So they're on the lower level. Up here, it's all like Filipino stuff. Down there is all the international brands. Level three. Level three. Museum of Motions. And there it is. Mo. Ah, 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 Mo. He doesn't want to get too close. <laughs> oh, you got like sideways roll. There's another loop around. around these. Oh wow! It's like one of those Japanese, no Chinese, no Russian nesting dolls where they put them all together. But yeah. it's like a mall. It's a mall inside a mall inside a mall inside a mall. And we just happen to start on the furthest point and come all the way to the furthest point. Well done, us. And here are the prices. So uh, for one person it's five hundred, or you can bring some friends for four. And they got snacks and treats and things. Oh, oh we got some video of what happens in there. Oh, it's like a kids play area. Awesome. Okay, we're sort of getting the hang of this. Escalators, you know, you gotta watch. But it's like a wheel. So we got a wheel here with spokes that go to the hub. The hub was the middle where the food was, where you saw us there. And now we've got spokes going out. This place is massive. Oh, this is the wheel. Oh, this is the wheel. This is the spoke. And that's the spokes. Voted best soft serve by Ricky. <laughs> Dairy cream, delicious. She <laughs> loves their soft serve. I do. <laughs> Sun perfectly on me. So what we thought we'd do is just take you on a lifestyle just so you can feel how big it is. This is the third level. There, there are way too many shops and it's way too big. But we'll take you around and you can just have a look. Hang in there guys, I'm just going to turn you around. Chow King. Yeah. We'll try to get two layers as we go along. Oh, yeah. And we're walking on the inside layer, so it's shorter. Smart thinking yeah. by us. You don't have, well, you got the back. Clothing, so it's quite a bit of clothing. Yeah. yeah. On both it's levels, yeah, it's... It is, it is awesome to have that. What was really cool... Oh! Tree. No, wait, wait, wait. For the Christmas tree! Close your eyes, close your eyes, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Jingle, jingle, jingle! Oh, 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 oh. Well, he's not going back anymore. Nah, oh well. <laughs> Ooh, Airbnb locks. And there's a metro that comes off it. Alright, so more shops down there. Uh, I'm not even sure how many bits of it's a, a quarter, a third, an eighth, an eighth so far. If we were on a pizza, we'd just walk past one slice. <laughs> oh, Metro is a shop. There are all these big white pillars that a little tea. Let me just get that back. Yeah. Wow. I'm just going to quickly go over there. We'll come back to the, the rest of the, the adventure in a minute. But this shop is huge. And it's like on the edge of the wheel. Oh man, it's, it's quite an impressive entrance. Wow. How massive is that store? Ew. That is huge. Hey, it's massive. They've got a little bit of Christmas in it. <laughs> the dresses and things on the colors. It is, it's like really, really bright here. If you wanted to come do your food photography, come do it here. The cameras are perfect. Let me show you some food, you can film it here. All right, turning you back around, guys. Uh, nothing is going to be as bright as that, so your eyes are going to take a bit of time to readjust. <laughs> a little bit of safari stuff on the side here. Yeah. Christmassy. AV surfer. 
Oh. Lucky guys, another food place. Mm -hmm. It's loads of food and luckily we got stuck on this floor so Ricky can't go to the shoes. <laughs> It smells like candy for us. Yeah, it does. We need some popcorn, but we're not at the cinema level. This no. place is too big. It is, it is massive. No, 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 oh, no, wait, no. wait, wait a second, wait a second. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is about to happen. There's another spoke that goes beyond. <laughs> Hi! And there are people waving. Hi, everyone. <laughs> we're probably not going to go down there because it's, it's about a mile, it's about two and a half kilometers. <laughs> Anyway, back on track here. Oh, I mean, it's like, it's, it's very shiny and white. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has a very, what's that modern feel about it? Yeah, yeah. They have a Toys R Us. Yeah. Waxing salon. <laughs> oh, the house of pain. Not this one, the one behind me where it said waxing salon. And now it goes straight. It stopped being round and going straight. Uh, there's more. There's more yeah, restaurants yeah. down that way. But then let's go ahead towards the middle, Rick. And there's like um, yeah, places dots in everywhere. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna stop. And this is the next spoke. So now we've done two slices. <laughs> two slices of our eight slice pizza. Wow, this place is huge. I mean, we abandon we abandon walking around it because you know you guys don't have four hours to spend with us. Unless you do, let me know, and we won't do it. Oh wait, wait, wait! Ricky spotted something. <gasps> a lazy boy. Twenty-four thousand for a lazy boy. That's cool. Oh man, this, this is my favorite chair in the whole world. Mm -hmm. So if you guys if you guys want to gift me something for Christmas, <laughs> a hint, hint. Mm -hmm. This is the shop. Furniture source. Times two. Times two. Lazy boy, lazy boy. Lazy boy, lazy boy. Yeah, lazy boy 2x. <laughs> oh look, they've got like the, the in-betweeners with the plants and things. And there's still their kiosks in the ground floor as well. Oh man, hey. I just feel... Like a mezzanine level. A mezzanine, there's a mezzanine level. Yeah. Oh, they got a McDonald's. We'll cross across there because you can always tell if it's a good McDonald's by the smell. <laughs> no, you can't. I just made that up, but I thought I'd want to cross over there just in case there's a special. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. This place, no jokes, is huge. Oh, and they wrap presents here. This is the Toys R Us wrapping presents section. <laughs> Some lucky kid is getting an awesome present, or a dad. Dads are allowed presents from Toys R Us. Go to the remote control section. Oh, oh sorry. These are actually pretty cool. I've actually found, this is the third country I've found one with a McDonald's chair in it. So I'm gonna go sit on it if nobody minds. So this is my third country to sit next to Ronald. Sorry. <laughs> ah, he's such a friendly guy. Oh man, awesome. Thanks for the chair, Ronald. Ah, it's such a big mall. Ah yes, pure <laughs> That's how big the mall is. You need a place to come and sit for about three or four hours. <laughs> Okay, we are here for dining. Okay, here we go. Let's get a large cook. Done. Grab a tent, Rick. Oh, this is a tent. Don't forget to grab your receipt. Oh, wow, that arrived quickly. And here we are, Chicken McDo. Chicken McDo. Hang in there, guys. We'll open it eventually. Oh, look at that, it's a piece of chicken, gravy, and spaghetti. Well, let's see if they do chicken and spaghetti. <laughs> well, there's definitely spaghetti looking stuff here, but the fried chicken looks like fried chicken. Oh man, I'm just going to take a bite, then we can pull it apart to show you how awesome <laughs> it is. Mm. Mm. 
No, it, it, I do like the crunchiness on the outside, I do. But the chicken is, is it's, it's dry. Cut the chicken. But they give you gravy. Of course. So maybe do. that's going to be <laughs> the winner. It looks like it's got some pepper in it as well. Oh yes, no, you can actually see some black stuff in there. Any gravy with pepper is a winner winner for me. Mm. Good gravy. Mm. McDonald's spaghetti. We Sometimes. brought an expert in. <laughs> Sometimes I regret being the resident Italian because this genuinely looks like cold spaghetti and ketchup. Oh no! Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. <laughs> oh wow! Oh no! <laughs> Try the water, Rick. Or don't. <laughs> you can't even pick it up. We're gonna try that piece. Not a fan. Ricky keeps going on about the spaghetti. Yeah, no, but it's not spaghetti. I mean, look at it. It's like a gluten free spaghetti. Look at that, it breaks. I mean, spaghetti does not break. Spaghetti stretches. I even I put some on in the window to test if it's cooked and it doesn't stick. <laughs> if it doesn't stick to the window, it's not cooked. They need to cook it more or make it from spaghetti mix. Wow. McDonald's. When it comes to fried chicken, they make awesome beef burgers. Okay, we got McDonald's here. That's where we left off. Uh, there's a, a Ronald and a, another high five, high five. Nice one, Rick. And uh, the terrace is what we're actually looking for. And they've got an arrow, so that's cool. I don't know where. I think it might be out here. Cool, Shakey's Pizza Place and a Yellow Cat Pizza Place. Pizza this is all the pizza places are here. Yeah, yeah. Not sure what's going on there. Kids section down there. And all the toys for Christmas. Anyway, onto the terrace. Yellow cab pizza. So we have to come try them at some point. Okay, this might be the terrace. This might actually be the terrace. Well, it's like literally a terrace. Yeah, like an outside area that's a big balcony. Oh, there's more to it though. This is the terrace. This is why it's called the terraces. Uh huh. It's actually got some cool stuff down there. Yeah, it looks awesome. Anyway, these are the, the buildings around it. And there's some more stuff out here. Oh, and there's more up there. There's another terrace up there. And there's a terrace below us. So another terrace below. So it's like three terraces here. And then out to that area, which is a moat. It's an actual moat around. Oh, that's the basket, guys. Now there's definitely water. I don't know, hey. Lovely greenery. Big trees. But still in Zebu. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to point out this here behind me is, is one of the wheels and there's spokes there. But I'm just gonna swing you guys around because there's another spoke that goes another spoke that goes out there, and if you have a look across there, that is also going around. So that's like an outer wheel. So it's like these concentric rings. Just in case we don't have enough footage, <laughs> which of course we do. But that's the garden there, all the buildings around us. And we're heading in this direction because we think it's the terminal. And we, we got off at the wrong place. So we're probably never gonna find how to get back to our, our next bus. Because yeah. we got off too early and then uh, had to walk a little bit, so we never actually found out where the, the spot is that we're supposed to stand. But this is a pretty amazing place. Boy, Zug, Zugba. Oh, the they have a thing called a, 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 this is like really famous in the Philippines. I can't say a boogle attack? Boodle. Boodle, boodle attack. Like noodle, but boodle. <laughs> and you get noodles, actually they don't get any noodles. Oh, these things look quite nice. But that looks oh. really good. 
That actually for fun, that's, that's a feast, guys. This place actually looks kind of awesome. Yeah, it's all already booed on oh, 50% of a bucket of beer. A bucket of beers. October. Welcome to October, everyone. Oh, man, we must come check this place out, Rick. Looks like they got fried chicken. Get a bucket of fried chicken. <laughs> and Kubla Khan. Kub <laughs> Mongolians make food? <laughs> okay, those are noodles, but I assume they're going to have a buffet somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's inside. They actually have a buffet inside. We're actually going to show that. We weren't looking for our bus. Dessert factory. Casa Green. Yeah, there's a dessert factory of sweet and sour fish. Am I missing something? Wait, wait, wait. The dessert factory. See, it does say dessert factory. Are these like it's a sweet burger? Maybe, maybe. They also do cakes though. Oh, yeah. So maybe they're diversifying. Like other places do puddings. Do you want to get a piece? Ricky's convinced me. Dessert factory it is. Let's go get a treat. Oh, big heavy doors. Oh, and they look so festive in here. Hi. We just want to get a piece of cake. Well, we saw these ones. Okay, you want uh, ice cream cakes? Are oh, they ice cream cakes? Oh, these are real cakes. Okay, we're going to have to decide then. Cookies and dough cheesecake. Do they have cheesecake? Sugar free. No, stay, stay away. Apocalypse now. How do you choose? Blueberry cheesecake. Yeah, these these, these were actual ice cream cakes. I think we'll go with ice cream because you want a cake and you want ice cream. Do you know what you do? Ice cream cake. Do you have the pesh, pesh, what is it? Pistachio. Pistachio. Yes, sir. You have one. Can we yeah. have one, please? Yeah. Ice cream cake. Thank you so much. Yes, hey, it's an awesome place. Oh. And they've actually got whole menus and things. You have to go look at the cakes, of course you do. Yeah, you go look at them, but you can actually come choose them by, by menu item as well. Yeah, awesome. And there's oh, all these savory stuff. they have regular foods. Breakfast. Inside voices. Inside voices. <laughs> they speak to me in my head. <laughs> Someone's salad just came past and they look really good. So you get this like salad and you can get addressing okay we're definitely gonna have to come check these guys out <laughs> there are so many questions on this menu ayala malls is really really massive and with christmas coming up yeah. you're definitely going to find your presents here is that your ice cream cake? oh thank you so much thank you. beautiful oh wow that is so beautiful ricky is going to take so many photos it's going to melt <laughs> oh it's actually quite hard i suppose it is ice cream Mm-hmm. It's so pistachio -y. Awesome. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that bite. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, it's got a layer in between. That's the pistachio layer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh chocolate delicious. Oh wow, the dessert factory. Oh, thank you so much. The dessert factory is ice cream delicious. It was awesome. It really was awesome. Exit. Exit from outside, I assume. And uh, into another one of these. I don't know if we're in a circle or... A, I think it's a circle. It goes circular. But we are still trying to find our way to the... The buses without being sidetracked by more. Oh, what's that thing? Oh wow, it's like 9D. It's 100 pesos to go 9D. Man. So you can drop your hubby off there while you're shopping for his present for Christmas. Yeah. Are you going to be shopping for my present or are you going to drop me here? <laughs> PUV <laughs> terminal. <laughs> PUV terminal, that's what we're looking for. Huh? Let's walk on the inside. Oh wow, it's a foldy. So it's an electric bike, and there's another one, it's a little friend, so that you can put it in your suitcase when you drive on the tram, or the bus, yeah, it's the bus, yeah. Well, as we are having to go try to find a PUV, we might as well take you with us. My joy. 
more clothes that Cebu vibe oh this is like the Cebu shop oh this is all I love Cebu oh how do you get in we should actually go and see oh wow Mac 10 shrine oh this place is really awesome it's like the Cebu shop I love Cebu oh man that is so cool get all the merch and, and the dried the dried fruits as well oh man Oh, it's that quick dry stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can find something in my size. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> oh, it does actually say quick dry tea. Yeah, awesome. Best sellers. <laughs> yeah, awesome shop. Stop there when you're coming. Ah, uh, there's a lot of queues. That might be for the the bus. Why is there such a long queue? Hang on guys. Look at this long queue. It starts there, goes along there. What is it? It can't be for, for that. Yeah, some lady in the Okay. Link to whatever that is behind there. Right. Okay, so oh that's the PUV terminals this way. So we are gonna get to go past them and see what they're all queuing yeah. for. This, whatever these smoothie things are. are they coming for these smoothies? Do. It can't be for the smoothies. Yeah. That's a really long queue. Uh -huh. Are they like super cheap smoothies or something? Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. Well, we're going to have to have a look because I've never seen such a long queue for something. Oh, it's like fruits and things and they put in a cup that's the name of the place guys and obviously someone did a TikTok on it and it's just gone insane oh man queuing up that much either it's a special or it's a TikTok thing anyway we have a TikTok that's a great segue how good am I at that TikTok I'll put the I just look it up it's Brian Discovers World okay so oh I see I see I see I see the dudes coming past so it must be at the right place H&M? Is this another one or did we get turned around? I don't know. Anyway, that's the, the alarm to check that people aren't bringing whatever is in here. And there the, the jeepneys, off they go. O4L we can get on. I think it's O4L is the one we want to get on. As usual, security is really helpful. But it says that's the terminal there. But he said we've got to take a, a 04L, which is like a normal jeepney. Yes, These are the routes. As usual, you can't get on straight away. You have to get on in a certain area, which is not blocking traffic. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to go quite far. This one's actually quite a far walk, but they are waiting for us. They didn't realize how old and slow we were. <laughs> Oh wow, Iyala Mall, it is behind us, we're in the Jeep now, I forgot to do an outro. It is massive, it's a massive, massive wheel, and it's awesome. Bye well, everyone, thanks for watching, see you again next time, don't forget to subscribe. I'm walking away here, but you can't because obviously we're in the Jeep still.